How are we doing you wonderful people? My name is Jay and today we're taking a look at the Edge Pro All-in-One Starter Kit. Now before we get into the video make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the little notification bell that way you guys will receive all the channel notifications and you can keep up to date with all the latest videos. But now that's out of the way let's get into the video. We are back with another hardware review. Now it has been a while due to the current situation, but I am so, so excited to be reviewing some hardware again. In today's video, we are taking a look at an all-in-one starter kit made by a company called Edge. Now Edge usually just make e-liquids and I have previously done an e-liquid review on their products. And to be honest, their e-liquids were awesome. Some of my favorites that I've ever tried. But now Edge are also competing in the hardware side of the industry and they've gone on to release an all-in-one starter kit and a disposable pod system. The Edge Pro all-in-one starter kit is a collaboration with a company called Vaptio or Vaptio. I, I can never pronounce the company's name, but they do have a very solid and respectful reputation within the industry. So I was very keen to get my hands on this device, test it out and see if it was any good. Now I do want to say thank you to Edge for sending me this product for the purpose of the review. I really do appreciate it. So if you guys want to check out their socials, they'll be in the description below. Edge are boasting a unique coil fitting technology within this device, but is it any good? So let's take a look at the Edge Pro All-in-One Star Kit. In your box, you get one 1500mAh Edge Pro device, one Edge Pro 5050 1.2 ohm coil, and one USB charger cable. The device fits really nice in the hand. It has a decent weight to it, so you know it's in your hand, but it isn't too heavy. Edge have really tried to do something different with the design of this device from every aspect, and you can see how Vaptio have had their input to help them achieve this design. The fill-in port is really unique, and it's something I've not really seen on many starter kits, and that is the twist to open fill-in port. A simple twist in one direction will reveal your fill-in port, and twisting it the other way will securely lock the fill-in port. I think a lot of vapors will easily get on with this design. It's simple, it's easy to use, and you haven't got to take anything apart to fill up, which is always a bonus. Now, let's talk about this Edge Pro Coil. My first impression of the Edge Pro Coil was, wow, this thing is huge. Surely it doesn't need to be this big, but it does make sense as to why. The Edge Pro Coil is designed as a quick release system and has the drip tip built into it. Edge have really tried something new and creative with the Edge Pro Coil, and I really like the concept. To fit your coil, simply place your coil down into the center of the tank. Once it is at the bottom, push and twist to lock the coil into place, and to remove, simply unscrew the coil. I must admit, it does look a little odd, but I really like the fact that you can change your coil without taking your tank apart. Once the coil is fitted, you can fill your e-liquid by twisting open the fill-in port on the top of the device. The Edge Pro also has a fully adjustable airflow at the base of the tank and simply twist the tank or the device to choose how you want your airflow. To turn on your device, simply press the firing button five times until the lights flash and to turn off, repeat this process. I really like that Edge and Vaptor have made a unique device which is also very simple for the user. It eliminates any mess for any new vapor. The USB port is located at the back of the device below the tank. Edge have gone for a micro USB option. And honestly, for a simple starter kit, it makes sense. 1500 mAh inbuilt battery is a decent capacity for a starter kit, and I really like the fact that you can charge a device standing up. However, if Edge are gonna to continue to make hardware in this industry, I would highly recommend that they move across to USB-C, as that is where the industry is starting to head. But now you know everything about the Edge Pro all-in-one starter kit, how does it vape? For a 1.2 ohm coil, it produces some really good flavor a nice smooth inhale with no spit back or leaking. The ramp up on this coil isn't too slow and still delivers a decent hit. Overall, I think Edge and Vapto have released a solid all-in-one starter kit. It's definitely unique with that quick release coil design and delivers exactly what a starter kit should. I would personally like to see Edge take a page out of other companies' books and have a lower resistance coil as an option, just to reduce that ramp up time ever so slightly and give the vapor a little bit more variety. A prime example is something like the Pocx. They have a 0.6 ohm coil and a 1.2 ohm coil. It just gives the vapor a couple of options to really tailor their vaping experience to their device. 
Having said that though, the battery life is really good, the flavor is a really good standard, and I'm currently getting around eight to 10 days core life out of them Edge Pro 1.2 ohm coils, which I'm quite impressed with. The overall use of the device is very, very simple and easy to use. Now, I would recommend this device to any new starter who wants something cheap, reliable, and very easy to use that doesn't want to go down the pod system route. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like the new quick release coil system or do you prefer changing your coils a traditional way? Leave a comment down below. I love talking to you guys and hearing what you guys have to say. And that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to leave a like. Remember to subscribe with notifications turned on if you haven't already. Now, if you guys do need any vape supplies, make sure you head over to Vapes of the Seven Seas and use the discount code Jupiter10 for 10% off your entire order. We now have a Patreon set up for the channel. You guys have been awesome and suggested we set one up. So if you want to support the channel through the Patreon, it is on the screen right now. And there is a link also in the description. And if you want to follow my day to day and see the behind the scenes of how these videos are made, then make sure you follow my Instagram for my daily Instagram stories. And lastly, I hope we're all keeping safe, adhering to the government guidelines, and more importantly, looking after our mental health and reaching out to people to make sure that they're coping all right. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace.